Yo, YouTube, it's your boy D give you this week's episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, episode 10, I believe. Man, a lot of stuff in it, a lot of drama, a lot of meltdowns, a lot of crazy stuff. Things got real, y'all. Things got real. It starts out with. We have some we start with some positivity, my friends. It starts off with the reveal of Jessica Dimes baby. As you know, she's pregnant. She got the baby bump and all that. And now everyone's there for I think her man's um gender reveal. Uh Jock was there, Mimi's girlfriend was there, Mimi was there, a whole night y'all was there, everybody and mom there. And Mama D was there. She she got her body banging. She you know she she working a new body because I don't blame you, Mama D. All the money you done spend getting this tightened up, this getting this new parts out. You better use it, baby. You better use what you got. Show them young boys how what it do. Show the goodness. Show the millions. Show the Gullius Maximus. Yes, I said Gullius Maximus. Yes, I did. And baby, she, she won't do it. Won't she? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Anyway, we found out that Jessica Dimes is gonna have a baby girl. Oh, she's gonna have a Mimi Dime. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my sister say, go sister, go sister, go sister, sister, go sister, go sister. Oh my lady, feel so right. It's late, it's not. Man, I, I know I, I couldn't sing the song, but man, that used to be the jam. Ladies' night, we got Angie Martinez, Lil Kim before she got before she was like Blondie. When she Lil Kim was this gangster, he got the brat, got Missy Elliott, got the left eye. Oh, it was some good times, man. Man, I was I was even a woman, but man, I felt good when I heard that song. I was like, Ladies' night, and when it feels alright, Ladies' night, oh what a night, oh what a night. You know what I'm saying? That was the beat right there. That was the beat right there. You hear me? That was the mother flipping beat. But anyhow, anywho, I'm kind of going off random. I'm going to tangent right here anyway. And we find out that uh, her mama's there, Jessica Dines mom there. And not only her mama's there, her daddy's there. And she was so excited. You could tell she always has a connection with her dad. He's hugged. She's, you know, they embrace. And Dad's like, you know what? I'm gonna be a grandpa. Thank you for making me a grandpa. So it was, uh, it was a very touching moment. Even Mama D gave some encouragement too. And so, I'm so happy for a dime. You know, you can tell she's more, more out. She's more calmer, more relaxed. And she's just, you know, I'm, I'm happy for, I'm happy for the family. You know, and that's what's up. Kudos to you, Dime. Kudos to you. Now, we are going to move on to uh let's see Rashida's having some type of meeting in some type of restaurant and she she fights the squad and you know the girl clan the clan so we got Carly's there we got Erica Mina was there I forgot Erica was even there but I guess she gotta get her checks too Esther Estelina Echanala Echanala whatever Esther whatever who's there but she there um Mimi's there I don't know why Mimi's there, but hey, you got your pain, girl. You might as well get those checks, too. I felt like the whole clan. I also hope that Jocelyn will show up. I just want Jocelyn to show up. Because cause she's like, she's the baddest. I need Jocelyn to be there. Because she's the baddest. You know what I'm saying? But that's all right. That's all right. Oh, Spice is there. The Jamaican beauty Spice girl. Big up the spice, big up the spice. She's there. She's there. Big up the spice is there. And you know, and she was like, I want y'all to know that I'm gonna open my I'm gonna open the store press in Houston, Texas, Texas. And you know what? We gon and after that, after the grand opening of my store, we're gonna go to Do Ranch. Ain't gonna be fancy, but we'll make it do what it do. And the girls are gonna like, huh? What? And so the girls that have beef with each other, and we should like all oh, the beef young women got, all you ladies got, put it to the side, and just have some fun. And just to throw some cakes, we're going to have Briscoe there, and Sean. 
the Tommy shows up late. She's strolling like she don't care. She's drunk or something. Spicer, you're late, you know? You're late. You're three hours. You're three. You're three hours late. You're late. <laughs> and Sp you know, Spice is like, you know, she's worried. She's concerned about Tommy because obviously she knows that Tommy got some type of issue with the liquor. And man, she started drinking. You know, she drink it. You know, Tom is known for drinking. Whatever demons she has, she always goes to the liquor. And Spice was like calling out on her, saying, you know, we hope you go there, don't bring your pig there. And you know, Tom gets into her feelings, saying, you know, you don't care about my pig. A pig got a heart attack. I'm a good like. Yeah, like. Be please. Ain't nobody care about your pig, and you pig ain't got, no, you were hitting the sauce, you were hitting the liquor, and you couldn't control your liquor, that's why you're late. And, you know, Spice no play, because, you know, time is money, I'm trying to get this music thing out, and you're trying to my career. And, she, you know, I, keep playing with Spice. Time, keep playing with Spice. Spice will kill you. She will, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? She gonna kill you, girl. She gonna kill you. But, uh. But then, then you find out Tom, she arguing with the producer about something. And she look like she want to fight the producer. Talking about, I want to beat the producer, beat the camera, and this beat the hood. She's beating up everybody. And I'm, everybody looking at her, Why you, who you talking to? She riled out. She was riled out. I was like, Tommy, you know, you definitely need to get, go on to rehab. But, <laughs> go to rehab and control your demons. Because look is not good. It's to control. It's, Definitely destroying you, destroying you. Like clearly, she has a lot on plate. You know, obviously take care of her family members who are unemployed, and, to, and she just covered up with alcohol. She says, "Oh, I don't have an alcohol problem. I don't got a drinking problem." <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Tommy. And you know, clearly she has issues, and she needs to get her together. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Now. We find out that, in, you know, Carly's with uh, Sean, the one that looks like a genie with the little tight hat. Look like he look like a genie, look like, he look like the ghetto genie. I swear, him and Trick Daddy be getting them, look, got the sheep heads, they look like genies, I don't know why. Anyway, in the bowling alley somewhere, and guess who shows up on the, on the double date? Tobias. And spice, and Carly finds out and goes to the to the to the bias and say, "So it are you and are you in Tokyo? You know, woken up." And he says, "You know, you know, we yeah, we you know, we woken up. You know, it's done. Whatever." Gave some yes hands and Carly was like, "Oh, really? 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 Hmm, really? Okay, all right." <laughs> So then, when Sean f and then and Carly Red was, you know, I guess he was telling Sean what's going on with with um uh what's what's the name uh B K uh, Sierra's boyfriend who's been cheating and, and tells him that you know I I said the meeting with the girls you know. Let Sierra know that he's cheating. I got receipts and all that. And when and Shaw is getting his feelings, talking about, you know, I told you not to be messy. You can't be messy. You know, I'm through. I'm tired of your games. I'm tired of you being messy. I'm done. You know, and I'm gonna leave you. And Carl says, okay, you go. You go. You come back. You come back. And this do this is why do this doing the whole time is Tobias and Spice was there. And then, you know, Sean leaves, but he forgot his bowling shoes. He's like, I need to get my bowling shoes. Give me my bowling shoes. And Carly Red runs like a little like a little crackhead talking about. You can't get the shoes back. You can't get the shoes back. He 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 he. I'm gonna burn them. I was just like I was just like Whew. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I felt. It was just some, it was just some stupidity stuff. But whatever. 
Then, then we find out that Sean and BK was having a discussion, and BK is telling Sean that you know how um, you know how Sierra is you know has been you know been talking about how she found out about how the girls that I messed with by Amber and all these other girls and this and that, and you know, and and Sean was like, I broke up my I broke my you know, I quit, put up, I quit messing with Carl with because of you. You know what I'm saying? Sean was, and, and PK was like, yeah, that's why you need to control your woman. Control your woman. And Jaws is sitting there going like, did you sleep with her? You sleep with BK? Did you sleep with Sierra? With Sierra? Did you sleep with all these other girls? He's like, nah, well, I used to. I stopped, though. You know, I didn't do it anymore. And Jaws was like, you lying. I'm like, you lie, you be smashing, you be laying the pipe work, so to speak, all these other women. And and you just made a call where he's telling spilling the tea on the on your on your on your man blank stuff. And I'm like, Carl didn't tell you the blank why is that for like you be can't control the pipe. You then everybody get a piece of the pipe. You need to put the pipe Put a master lock on your pipe, boy. Put a master lock on your pipe. You understand? And I'm just looking. I just, I'm just looking confused. You know, he, you know. And Sean's, you know, I'm just like, whatever. You can't control the pipe. You can't control your pipe. And I'm like, dude, yeah, y'all just whatever. Y'all cheating. Y'all this man that you get caught because you can't cheat anymore. Whatever. Whatever. Now we get to. Now we get to the other meeting with. Um, so now Carly decides to have an intimate meeting because when he tries, she when he's trying to group meeting, you know, to expose serious stuff, her friend intervention, and then that goes so well. So now she decides to have a small meeting with Tokyo. Sierra. She tells Tokyo that I saw Tobias with with Spice, and Tokyo says, "You know, the the pies has been calling me, calling me back, trying to get back with me, whatever, whatever." But Tokyo says, "I don't like how you deliver this stuff. You messy and stuff. Call it you messy, and I don't like you. Stay out of my business." Like the and moves on. And then Sierra's like, you know, Carl, you're doing good. I I know your heart's in the right place, but girl, you got to deliver better. You don't know how to deliver. And I think Carl is, has a heart in the right direction and want to help people out. But sometimes you need to let them just figure stuff out on their own. I don't even want to be, you know, expect a gadget. Because I see you want to be expect a gadget. You got the detect, detective, you know, you know, spot eyewear. And, girl, you could be in the FBI. In fact, you should apply for the FBI. I think you do a great job for the, for. Well, the country, you know, find out who's, you know, responding to us. I've been like, we need, we need a call to break in our lives. And I feel like you're good for the FBI, the detective work, secret agent type of stuff. I baby, you can get receipts. I see you got information, you got intel and everything. So I think that's pretty good. You should, you should consider that. If Love and Hip Hop Atlanta doesn't work, baby, you will apply to some. Let's go apply to the FBI, girl. Let's apply to the FBI. You do that. And then, she, yeah. and then Carly tells uh, Sierra that we gonna go to Duesh. We say you provide us to Duesh. Sierra says okay, and then and then and I, you know I want to buy Tokyo, but she doesn't want to go. And Sierra says, "How can Tokyo go to to the Du Ranch?" I was like, "Yeah, let's go to the Du Ranch. Let's go to the Du Ranch." Then we get to Just Brittany, you know, the Houston rapper who's in Atlanta. And she tells and tells Tier um, Scraps Baby Mom that you know that uh, the Foss you know she wants her to perform, so she excited, so she wants to have Brittany to be there, and not be, not be, have Tier to be there. So Tier is excited, and she says, you know what? Maybe I should invite Jasmine to go because so Jasmine could tell you know she looked too well. Uh, that she wants to, you know, work things out with her and be part, and have something be part of his life. And I'm like, Tierra, 
How many times do you keep have Jasmine keep popping up on these things? You know, it doesn't work, right? Jasmine is the one who has slept with a man, married man, and got pregnant by the married man. And when she is, when she is hurt, and you want her to somehow just be like friends, cool by y'all, be like old girlfriends, like hey baby, let's get our nails done, get our hair did. It doesn't work like that, baby girl. It does not work because when she is hurt, because you know Kurt was wrong for cheating. She was wrong with cheating with a memory. The only dang old world it was a, is a memory. It was not like he hid it. it was, you could Google it up, go look at the ring, and she did make a constant choice choice to mess with a married man. And now that she got caught, now she wants to be like, you know what? I, I want to be friends with Rashida. Can I be friends with Rashida, please? Can we go get her hair done? Can we go shopping? Can we get bags? Can we get food? No, baby girl, you can't do that. I mean, she does not owe you anything. You don't get to call the shots, Jasmine. Know your place and sit you down. You know you go. And Tierra, being a, uh, being a messy one, because she's messy, wants to fight Jasmine all these events. You know what I'm saying? No one dang or well, it won't work out, right? It doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? And Britain knows that she doesn't want to get herself, you know, messed with. But Tira, you know, don't want her business to get, get messed up with Tira's um, messiness. But Tira doesn't care because she wants to be messy. Because she wants a storyline. Because she wants to be revenant of the show. She wants a storyline. Okay? She wants a blanking storyline. And I'm done talking about that. Anyway. The gang, Robin Houston, Robin Ford, got, Houston, got by the, the producer of the show Stephanie and Stephanie inform, informs them that that uh that uh Tommy will not be going along with them because she has hit she has threatened the people a lot Cruz life and she needs to have a get herself help what gets the help that she needs but we can't have this happen so I thought it was a good idea I thought it was great and I'm glad. Hopefully, Tommy gets the help she needs so she can fight the demon so she don't got to go to the liquor. I'm rooting for Tommy. I'm rooting for her. And pretty much that was the episode. Like I said, if I miss anything, y'all, put it in the comments below. You know, subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell. Uh, comment on my videos, like my videos. Anyway, this is your boy, D. I'm out. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.